Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to show you some stuff I picked up at Michael's. Um, they emailed a 40% off one regular priced item and then 20% off all like regular price items. So for the whole purchase. And then, which I've never had before and I don't even know if it was tied to my rewards or not, um, a $10 voucher, which is why I went. And I actually went with a list in mind of things I wanted. I was going to, I wrote down the four Windsor & Newton professional watercolor tubes that I have. And I was going to go get other colors, um, but I changed my mind. They're just awfully expensive and I just wanted more watercolor. I don't really have a purpose for them. So I ended up not getting those. Plus those are locked up and I don't really like asking them to open it. It's just kind of a whole thing. If you've ever been there, you might know. And then um, a couple other things I was going to look, there was a certain type of paintbrush and I couldn't find it. So I just kind of went off and got different things. So I will show those to you now. Um, so all of this was a total of $39.48. Um, so every item had some amount come off of it, uh, 20%. And then I got the 40% off of the, uh, set of gouache paints I got. I will show you that was the highest priced, one of the highest priced items. And then, um, what's really weird is that if you look, I'll just show you like the item itemized list here. What's really weird is that the voucher, the $10 voucher, it came off in pieces of each item, which is kind of strange, but all of it was $39.48. And I think it tells you, oh, you saved. So you saved $24.18. So not a bad deal. Really only go shopping at Michael's when there's a coupon. So I'm going to set this all to my left and then I will show it to you little by little. Um in no particular order. One of the things I got was this and it just kind of appealed to me because, um, and it's just, it doesn't even say like mixed media or multi-purpose or anything like that. So it's not specifically watercolor brushes or any type, but I do have some acrylic paints that I'll do a project here and there with. I have gouache, I have watercolor, um, I might have something in between. I'm not even sure. Uh, but I want to make sure that I have just cheap brushes to reach for. And these actually look fairly nice for what they are. And different. Um, I needed some more of these, these types as well. And there's also plastic palettes in here. You can kind of see, hopefully, there's plastic palette knives, knives mixed in. I think there's four of those. But lots of different size brushes, a fan brush, which I actually got a singular brush of that I will show you as well. Um, but really for the price, they just looked, looked pretty nice. So I picked those up just to have for a variety of reasons to have a brush I can reach for so that I'm not using my nicer watercolor brushes for other things. Um, I would prefer not to do that. And then just to test them out, I think this was $5.99 before any coupons or anything, but it's 12 piece, uh, specifically watercolor brushes, um, just cheap, but I want to do maybe, um, a video using just these, maybe two or three sizes in one painting to see how they work. And, um, I did forget, I was going to go look for I did. Yeah, I was going to do that, but I forgot. Uh, look for like an artist's loft paint palette to do a like cheap paint materials painting to see how it came out. Something like that, which is a common video that people do. But I like this because it has sizes 1 to 12. So it has things I haven't seen like a 7 and a 5 because I have a 0, a 2, a 4, I think, a 6 and a 12 and like a 16, something like that. So this has one through 12, every number. So I thought that was cool. So I want to try those out. And then, um, I've said before, every time I go to 
Michaels, I pick up one of their, it's just Artist's Loft. I think Artist's Loft is exclusively Michaels. If it's not, let me know. I always pick up one of these six by nine watercolor paper pads just because that's like my doodling. I don't care if I mess up on this paper, paper pad. And so I have like 10 of them at this point, but I decided to go for, this is only $6 before discounts. Um, decided to go for the bigger one, which is nine by 12. It's actually really good paper and I don't feel bad going through it for how cheap it is. So um, it's really nice to have. So there's that. I'm gonna put this underneath. Um, to go with the other brushes, I'll actually do this with you on camera. They had these, which are actually kind of cool. It's just the cheap brand. So this was $1.99 before any discounts or anything. Um, just a cheap little art supply bag. And I got it to put all of these in to kind of keep them separate. So I know that they're my everything brushes. They had two sizes of this. They had this one and a much bigger one. And I didn't need the much bigger one. I kind of like folded this and held it over it to see if they would all fit. So let's put it to the test. Um, this opens from the back. Can't grab all these at once. I just, I don't know. Oh, I just love having all those. They're so cheap, but they look so nice. Beautiful. That could be my thumbnail. Um, I'm gonna put those in there. And then we'll grab the rest of them. It's also got one of those do not eat moisture absorbing packs. So we will toss that. So it's got like, this is just so soft. It's actually a really good quality for how cheap all of those were. I don't recall entirely this I'll probably end up trimming it's got some some bits and pieces fraying out um but yeah those all fit so that worked out the only one I would be a little worried about is the fan brush but that one should be okay really soft so that will be my everything paintbrush packet. Hopefully that's out of the view. Um, this was what my 40% came off of. I think this one and yeah, this one and that pack of brushes were both $10.99 before the sale. It took 40% off of one of the $10.99 items, which was this. So I just got a, um, a gouache uh, 24 piece of the cheap, the Artist Loft brand, um, cause I've been wanting to do more with it. I just also recently got, um, which I haven't shown on YouTube, the 60 set of Arteza gouache paints as well. Um, but I want to do more, so I will probably use more of the cheaper ones to kind of play with and practice with before I use the Arteza ones. Arteza? Yes, Arteza. Um, for, you know, something better once I'm better. So I just wanted to have some cheap gouache paints on hand. And then I have a few last things. So this I got because I have this, but I don't love it because I also have to like set it on a painting and if it's anywhere near still wet or if I used like a gouache type or acrylic, you know, type paint, it tends to get on there because I have to set it down. And I can really only get myself to use this one or one of these. Um, I've only tried to use one of these once. It's just a little bit harder to use. And I keep seeing videos that just make this look so easy. So trying to make like a circle within your painting or something, um, I just don't have a protractor. So I got this one. It was only like six bucks before discounts. And then I had grabbed an 05 Jelly Roll pen, which I have tens and eights here. 
and I was going to grab an, a, an 05 because I wanted to kind of experiment with a very thin one. And I was going to grab a 5 and a 10, but they were out of 10s and the 5 was like $2.99. But this whole pack was $4.99, so I just decided to buy one of each in the pack because um, in the long run it was cheaper. So I grabbed that. And then the last two things are a somewhat more expensive, but not really that expensive, um, fan watercolor brush from the watercolor brush section at Michael's. If you've been to Michael's, they separate all of their like paints and they label it above it so you can see very clearly. These are acrylic paints, these are oil paints. And then in the brushes section, it'll say these are for acrylic, these are for watercolor. And then within watercolor, it has like skill level and basically expensiveness of the brush. So it goes from like beginner to mid to professional basically. Um, I think I bought this from the professional one. Not that I am. I just wanted a better brush. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm pretty interested to see. I'm going to probably look up some videos about how to use a fan brush and watercoloring and get some tips on that before I try to use it. Um, this is the only part I hate is getting rid of that sticker, but I'll figure it out. And then to go with my other two art crayons that I got, the watercolor crayon, I got like a teal and a magenta. I wanted to see what using some white in some of the more abstract things I've been doing looks like, because it's really fun to play with. So that, sorry, that was loud. That is the last item. And yeah, I just decided to kind of go around and get whatever caught my eye. And that is it. So hopefully I will use some of those in upcoming videos. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.